Am I on? Am I on live right now? <laughs> hey, this is for Cower Knives, and this is for Jose Quellar. I'm kidding. It's Core Knives, Joseph Quellar. Quellar? Quellier? Quillier. It's for Joseph. This is great. This is Greg Medford, Medford I'm MKT USA, what's going on? We didn't know how to say your last name, Joseph, so everybody was kind of asking each other, and uh, we asked uh, some of our multicultural employees. They didn't know that it was me, and I didn't know, and I was like, I'm the only one willing to completely pork it on camera. How's it going? I'm doing this quartering angle because when you lean in a little bit, it makes your big gut look not quite as big, so it's one of my strategies for filming is uh, how to, the proper angle to make a big gut look not so big. We have some knives going out, you guys. Headed to Bakersfield, California. Bakersfield, California. There we go. Man, I've got stories about flying past Bakersfield, talking to Bakersfield Approach. I come around from Edwards Air Force Base, headed up the valley, and I could smell cow manure at 12,500 feet. So I knew America was below me. There was farming going on. So hello to everybody in Bakersfield. Thank you for, I just want to thank you for the grapes, the avocados, the asparagus, the lettuce, whatever else is coming out of there. I uh, don't want to thank you for kicking any liberals out of your area and having to move to Arizona and screwing up our vote. But we'll live, hopefully. When this all falls down, trust me, you want to be on my side, though, because when the revolution starts, <laughs> it won't be a war of words. All right, to the knives. All right, core knives. Now, it's spelled K-A-U-R, knives. Back up here. Like, I thought it was cower, like sour, like, but it's core. K-A-U-R, knives. And it's concealment, uh, core knives, core concealment holsters. Do they have a website? It's not on here. While I'm shooting this video, someone's going to get me their website, and I will make sure that I tell you their website, because whenever we do these videos, we want to make sure. But I'm going to give you their phone number. Are you ready? It is 661-496-3602. On the nice, please, if you will, Dawn. Slim midi, the way it ought to be. Slight bronze, tumbled handle, blue flamed. Anno tie hardware. Yum, yum, yum. Slim midi with a burnished flamed presentation side. Tonto black, armor lube blade. Just scrum delicious. This is a really nice little knife. Yum, yum. A little spidey flip for you guys. For all you Superman fans out there. This is a true midi marauder. So for those of you who don't know the difference, same plan form, slightly different thickness. You could say this is your Sunday go to meeting knife and this is your daily working knife. So this is down around the kind of really pocketable, modern, palatable size, uh, except with 3 16 scales, 3 16 blade instead of eighth inch uh, proportions. So yum, yum knife. We're gonna skip that one. Uh, we've got a micro Praetorian T black arm uh, armor lube coating on it s35 vn blade great positive detent wonderful sounding no play top no play bottom just the way it's supposed to be i didn't say yo play i said no play and this says shall not be infringed with the two back up here shall not be infringed with the two second amendment shall not be the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed now Listen, my friends, this is a note from today's sponsor, Medford Knife and Tool, Greg Medford, and I bet from Core Knives and Holsters, Concealment Holsters as well. I bet we're on the same sheet of music here. Remember, we can't just make the Second Amendment argument. We have to make the freedom argument because they've already decided to tear up that silly old historical document written by all those slaveholders back way long ago. They, they weren't that smart. We have to make a different argument. The argument is the freedom paradigm. There are two ways to process the universe. There are two ways all people in this country, two columns, they all fall in. One of them is the freedom column, and one of them is the not freedom column. And if you want to self-determine, if you want to raise the station of your family, your life, and where you live, and how you live by the merit of your efforts, it requires 
the freedom to move up, it requires the risk of falling down. You don't get that liberal democratic republic without that. It's the risk. We have to make sure that we make the argument. Say, listen, once you take that freedom, you start taking all the freedoms. And that is the freedom upon which the First Amendment and all of the other freedoms, it is the freedom upon which they all hinge. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, and it is a phrase that modern leftists are happy to twist, change, and delete. It can't be about that. It has to be about freedom. The cornerstone of the country is the king can't come take your woman. The king can't get prima nocta. He doesn't get first night. And he doesn't get to imprison you for saying stuff that he doesn't agree with. He also doesn't get to throw you in purgatory. And neither does Google or Facebook or any of the other social media platforms. Now, back to our video. Um, we've got a couple of uh, derhuns. This is a great pocketable small knife. I'm telling you, for you guys that like to hunt, this would be a great skinning knife. It is just a great size in the hand for caping. Just a lovely little knife. It's, um, it's a big little knife. It's got a lot of personality. And you can have this in your pocket if you live. And now in Bakersfield, I know you're not all worried about Democrats so much, but let's say you might be taking your old, uh, your 1967 F100 into town and you have to be around them California city slickers, and you might be worried about having a knife that's too spooky for all them lefties. So you take your big Praetorian tie out of your pocket, and you put your dare hunt in your pocket, and this little guy uh, won't, they, they, when you walk by uh, Hollywood types, uh, pee won't squirt out of them. They won't have little bits of pee just involuntarily squirt out of fear. You know like how, I, whenever I get around dogs, all dogs pee in my presence, it's really weird. And I hear, I've talked to some dog people, they're like, well, that's because you're a little too alpha around them. I don't even know what that means. But when you go walking in with a Praetorian tie, like in LA, there's little bits of pee squirting out everybody that pass you by. And uh, you don't want to in inadvertently out alpha everybody and have little pee squirt out because then they don't want to do business with you and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I just, maybe what you want to do is uh, when in Rome, wear a toga. You just tone down a little bit for LA, that's your, going to the city knife. It doesn't, it doesn't scare little lefties, so they have a little piece squirt out of them. So we got four of these guys here in different tones, one with a little brush face, three muted, kind of from a light blue, bronze, purple, lovely little knives, s 35 vm blades with a big drop point, hollow belly grind, great skinning, titanium knife. You can wash that thing off in the sink. Everything on it is stainless or titanium. And now, folks, let's go over to Praetorian Genesis. There's a Praetorian Genesis T that's got heavy sculpting. That's as much sculpting as you can ever do on a thin-sided Praetorian Genesis. It's got a 3V blade. It's got, again, black armor lube on it. Six-gun hardware. Over-travel limiter. It's got a lovely kind of tree bark sculpting on it. Let's talk just for a tiny bit about uh, Arma Lube. So, DLC and PVD that so many of you are familiar with, and it kind of gets thrown around as black coating. It's more of a sputter technology. It goes from a cathode, or I'm sorry, from a, 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 a some sort of a sacrificial metal that's in your autoclave, and it sparks with a plasma across the gas and sputters a little piece of uh, carbon onto your onto your uh, uh, substrate, whatever that is, and blade or handle in this case. That sputter technology is called cathodic arc technology. You have a cathode and it sputters a little piece across this plasma and sticks it onto the surface of your product. Um, it's uh, only as tough as the substrate and it doesn't offer much water corrosion protection. Armalube is a different product. Armalube is a gas in the chamber. There is no uh, uh, cathode anode type setup. And what it does is it grows a crystalline structure from the substrate material outward. So instead of, if you think about this wall as the surface of a blade, having a bunch of sputters on it that make it all black, it spider webs out a crystalline structure as part of the surface from the material itself. It is not, you don't have bonding issues with Armalube because it is part of the substrate. It's not stuck to the substrate. You also have this very tight knit 
uh, crystal structure that makes it impervious to water and corrosion. Armalute was developed, it was called originally Duralar, and it was developed for deep water salt drilling, salt, salt water deep, deep drilling. So it had to have, as part of its chemical composition and its physical structure and property, it had to have a uh, uh, big corrosion resistance, abrasion, resi abrasion resistance, toughness, and uh, kind of a different setup, different uh, set of expectations than you have with the DLC PVD type coating. So it's an amazing product. The, the worst thing about it is you can't tumble it in anything because it has inherent lubricity uh, without any oil. So really cool product that we have on our knives. It is super pricey, way more than DLC and PVD. I hope you guys really dig it. We're starting to talk about it a little bit more um, as we become more and more friends with the company and we're confident they're gonna be around for a while. Anyways, Greg Medford, Medford Knives, MKT USA. Go buy corenives.com. Now I should say cowerknives.com because it would make sense. K-A-U-R knives.com. But it's pronounced core knives. Now I'm gonna to talk to somebody in marketing about this and be like, we gotta do something like with this. But at least you know how to get there now. Great man from Knife. I'm out of here.